is an absolutely beautiful vintage style ladies tote by S Stone. Um, I really love this bag. What I really like about it the most is the leather. This is a split leather, but it looks like full grain leather. I mean, they've preserved the marks that you would normally get in a full grain leather. You see this? See the patina? And it's got, um, you know, it's been polished a little bit, but they didn't destroy these markings. So it's got a beautiful, beautiful natural finish. Uh, now they have oiled it, so it's got a little sheen to it. And everything is nicely done. It's burnished on the edges, so nothing will fray. And you can see the, you know, the underlaying inside. When it's a split leather like that, they have to put something on the backing so that it gives it more structure. So it's a thin layer of the the really good leather that's backed then by a more durable backing so it's got that thickness nice structure beautiful tone to it though it's a gorgeous brown color and I love the fact that they didn't polish away all the natural um, animal hide patina so I mean just beautiful beautiful workmanship on it too nice tight stitching every which wear genuine metal hardware these straps are thin but they're very well reinforced. As you see, they're very they're double sewn right here on each side. One side is adjustable and you've got a two and a half inches of adjustment between the, the various holes. So you can lengthen these a little bit or shorten them a little bit. The other one, the other strap has the adjustment on the other side. So you've got a zippered compartment on the outside of the rear that you could hold against your body and put like extra money in here or important stuff that you don't want people to see. Pulls are nice. Everything functions very nicely. I'm doing this one-handed, I'm sorry, but it does function nicely. There we go. Notice all the stitching. Very heavy duty, very well done. The bottom um, doesn't have feet protectors, but they've overlapped the leather, so it's structured. See that? And it's very nicely sewn. You've also got the edges that are reinforced structured as well. Very, very nice. So this is uh, long enough. The drops on the handles are about 10 inches and you can adjust them as I said a couple inches too. Edges are burnished so nothing's going to fray. They're flat so that you can carry these on your shoulder or over an arm and they're not going to roll off your shoulder like rounded ones would. Um, very appealing, very attractive. The bag has a fully zippered top which I've got open right now so I can show you the inside of the bag. You've got two cell phone holders, sleeves on one side, a zippered center compartment, and a fully lined interior that's done in a dark brown nylon material, so it's very washable and durable. And the other side of the bag has, excuse me, a zippered compartment here. So you can put money, makeup, you know, change in here. Um, I like to put makeup in here. And whatever you want to in here, up to a 14-inch laptop. My laptops are bigger than that, unfortunately, but it will fit a full-size iPad, though. And, of course, cell phone and battery bank or whatever other gadgets you want on this side. So, plenty spacious, full zippered top that functions well. And this is a metal zipper. It's not a flimsy plastic or nylon zipper like some have. And notice they've reinforced it by leather all the way down as well. So it's stitched into the leather, which is very strong. Um, natural wet leather here. All the workmanship is very, very, very good, and um, the bag has a nice structure to it, and a really great look. So, just a very nice size. By the way, on the size of this bag, it's kind of a tapered size. So, they've got the measurements as um, 15 by 11, and it is roughly 15 at the bottom, but I measured the whole bag, and it rises, as you notice on this, it's got a little bit of a curve, rises up to be 17 inches across at the top and mostly down until it begins to taper down here near the bottom where it goes down to the 15. So you've actually got uh, 17 inches in width and 11 inches in height. So large enough for a 14 inch laptop although there is no padding for a laptop in here so be sure to you know put one inside of a protective case if you're going to do that. Um, definitely can fit a standard iPad or a small iPad and lots and lots of other stuff and that inside is washable. So very, very nice bag, lots of storage room, nice full top, zippered top so you can secure everything, and beautiful appearance. Great workmanship and fantastic leather. Here's very just nice. a walkthrough of this bag. Um, as I say in my notes, 
I've been doing uh, handbag reviews for a while now and uh, only because I just appreciate things that are well made and have a nice design and I thought this bag uh, fit the bill. I note that it's all leather and does have a, uh, a bottom that allows the bag itself to sort of open up uh, somewhat widely and uh, it has uh, I think pretty thin straps proportionally. Some bags like this will have a big thick strap but this one has some thin ones and it's a little bit adjustable, a few inches but not too much. On the outside of the bag you've got a one zippered pocket and uh, it's about no oh, cell phone uh, size, you can put a few things in there. And then I will just uh, flip on my light so you can see inside this guy. And um, you can see that the fabric is pretty cool. It has this kind of uh, nice fabric inside. Uh, every now and then I'll take a look at a bag that just has plain leather inside and I just don't like those nearly as much as a bag like this. Uh, it has a couple of zippered compartments on the inside so you've got compartments inside the main compartment and uh, this thing is kind of cool. It's a big pouch here that ends up dividing the bag into a couple separate sections and then over here you've got uh, multiple pockets. So this is definitely a bag um, with some storage options and versatility. Uh, all the zippers are metal and seem to work really well and you know I think when it comes down to it with a bag like this you gotta just think if it's something that you're looking for you know, is this the bag you're looking for, or um, is it a style that really doesn't suit you? As for the construction of the bag, it's really nice. You know, it's got uh, good lines to it, nice leather, pretty solid. I note this is not a seam up here, but it's just a burnished edge, so it has that kind of rough leather look. And, you know, I think it's pretty clean and a good looking bag. Mm -hmm.